President Trump ordered an extension Thursday of immigration restrictions limiting the issuance of some work visas as the U. S. Economy contends with the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. Trump extended the term of his executive order just hours before it was set to expire. The order will now expire at the end of March, extending into President-elect Joe Biden's first term in office. The White House has argued the restrictions are necessary to project job opportunities for American workers amid a surge in unemployment during the pandemic. In a proclamation detailing the move, Trump noted that COVID-19 continues to significantly disrupt Americans' livelihoods. Dot. The effects of COVID-19 on the United States labor market and on the health of American communities is a matter of ongoing national concern, and the considerations present in Proclamations 10,014 and 10,052 have not been eliminated, Trump wrote in the proclamation. The Trump administration first announced limits on the issuance of green cards for immigrants in April. In June, Trump expanded the order to limit several guest worker programs, including new H-1B tech worker visas, H-2B seasonal worker visas, certain J-Work and Education Exchange visitor visas and L-Executive transfer visas, with some exceptions. Trump's proclamation noted that recent spikes in COVID-19 cases have surpassed previous highs in June, as well as the implementation of pandemic-related restrictions that placed further strain on you. S. Businesses. The effect of recently approved vaccines and other treatments has not yet been fully realized for the U. S. Labor market, he added. While the November overall unemployment rate in the United States of 6. 7% reflects a marked decline from its April high, there were still 9,834,000 fewer seasonally adjusted non-farm jobs in November than in February of 2020, the proclamation added. 